here are the materials you need to make a drink bottle for marathon canoe racing. First, you need a two liter soda bottle or a 1.5 if you happen to be Canadian, some rubber bands, some Gorilla tape, some cheap old bite valves from Amazon. You don't really need them. Some extra caps, some uh, tubing. You can either go to Lowe's and get something or you can get some silicone tubing, which makes the drink taste a little better and a pocket knife. First, you dump out your drink that you don't want. Next, you get the label off. And then after that, you, this is where the fancy trick is. You, you cut like a three-sided square in your cap. And this little flap makes it so the hose later on doesn't slide out. I bought 20 feet, so I'm gonna make four or five foot sections. Some people like, depends on your boat, but you can go from five foot to seven feet. Cut it in half first. Then we'll cut it all in half again. You gotta make one. Toss all these aside. So your end that's going in the bottle, you want to cut an angle so it doesn't like stick to the bottom and kind of like jam itself. And as a little bonus, you can cut a little V out of it. That sometimes helps a little more for it to not get plugged up. Something like that. And then. Stick it in your bottle, figure out the length you want, and you rip off a, some duct tape. You don't want the whole roll, like a third, something like that's good. Wrap around a couple times, whoops, thank you. That should, something like that, you can, sometimes a little kinks in there, make it a little fatter, you want it fat. Then next to you, slide your cap on. <clears throat> the extra spacing around there will makes it so it can breathe. That's why I like cutting it square, not drilling a hole. Sometimes you'll, the, the fit will be so tight you won't be able to get water back, or air back through. So we'll double check, make sure it sticks to the bottom. It does. And now, we'll put a white valve on it. You don't need a bite valve. Like traditionals, don't use them. Your cheaper ones from Amazon. They're, they're almost more helpful just for something to hang on to in your mouth. And then here's the rubber band trick, which I learned from Joe Shaw many years ago. You do red. First, you want to put it around like this so it doesn't like fall off or whatever. You know, be, be kind to the environment. And then afterwards, you twist it a couple times like that. And that way, it won't somehow siphon if these. Bite valves aren't the greatest. And if the bite valve comes off. And then, uh, so when you get ready to use it, all you do is pull it and it's ready to go. There. So, and then uh, when you mix up your drink, 
to uh, put a spare cap on it. Pretend this is full of something. And then you wrap your hose around. And then uh, when you're ready to pass it off to your, your paddler, you swap the cap out. Hose in. Try to keep it upright so it doesn't leak. There she goes. And then, uh, there you go. All done. And a bonus tip if you're trying to transport a whole pile of drink bottles, you just crush them. And then when you want them back, just blow into it. Some people might be wondering what size tubing you use. And I use a uh, three eighths of an inch outer diameter tubing and a quarter inch inner. And if you're one to use metric, it'll be 10 millimeter outer and uh, seven millimeter inner.